All right. Now that we know how to work with arrays, let's try to organize our data in something called an object. Now, the difference between arrays and objects is like an object, you can put, uh, you can name these values. Okay. So for example, if you want to list something, you will use an array. It's very simple. You just make a list of uh, days of the week and nobody gives a shit. It's just Monday, Tuesday, blah, blah, blah. And it's just a list. And if you want to get the first one, what you do is you come here and you say zero. You want to get the second one, blah, blah, blah. And you're good to go. Okay. Now, the thing to notice is that, for example, if I want to save information about myself, let's say, for example, if I want to save information about myself, I cannot do something like, okay, Nicolas is the name, age is 55, and uh, man, it's uh, true, and um, city, so, and okay, let's just leave it like that. Okay, because nobody will be able to access this data on an organized way. What this shows is just a list. It doesn't show anything else. Let's do here. Nico info. Fuck. Nico info. I really hate the MacBook. The magic keyboard sucks balls. All right. So I have Nico info and I can list Nico info, but it's not organized on the way that I want. If I want to say, yo, what is his name? I have to remember that the name was on the first one. Oh, okay. So it's on the first one. So I have to say zero and then I will get his name. And this is not efficient. Okay. This is why we invented something called objects. Okay. So as we declared arrays, how we create arrays is by using this thing. Okay. These two brackets, these are called brackets. I think to declare an object, all we have to do is just make curly brackets. I think the name curly brackets braces, no, whatever. Okay. This is how you create an object and objects. They don't behave like arrays. I mean, you cannot just do this. I don't know. Maybe I don't JavaScript. No, there is a problem. You see, it's not an array. The thing about objects is that you can make an actual object. This means you can put labels on the data that you want to save. So instead of just making a list of something, what you can do is actually do something like this name, Nico, age, all right, uh, gender, male, is handsome, handsome, true. All right. And now if we run this, as you can see, it looks so much different. Okay. And also look at the difference here. This doesn't become a text. I don't have to do this. This is wrong. What I do is I just do name like that because this is a variable. Okay. So you will ask me, this is great. How can I access? How can I have an access to, for example, only his gender? So what I can do is I do Nico info dot gender. And what's going to happen is that I'm going to get only the gender only here. So now what I'm doing is I am using the keys, this is like the names of the data, the labels that I put. Okay. Also, if I want to, I can just change this and I can say, for example, Nico info that gender equals female. Okay. And let's console log this twice. Let's just do this. And first it should be male and then it changes to female. Okay. Now this is something very interesting about JavaScript right now. Look at what happened here. I changed something inside of Nico. I changed his gender inside of a const. So I cannot change what const Nico info stands for. I cannot say, for example, Nico info. I cannot say Nico. I see one. Nico info equals true because that'll be a problem. But what I can do is I can change the values inside of him and that will is not, that is not a problem. Okay. 
So these are the two ways that we can um, save and organize data. One is with arrays and the other one is with objects. Usually when you want to just list stuff, you will go for arrays. If you want to list results from a database, you will go for an array. If you want to, for example, combine them together, what you can do is, for example, you can have an array of many people, and this means that you can have an array of many Nico info. In this case, you can I can be there many times. That will be an array of many Nico info. You can make Nico info, Lin info, um, Dal info, Japan guy info, and that means that you can just combine them together. So you can put an array. In, sorry, you can put an object inside of an array and. Also, I forgot to mention this. Also, you can put favorite movies. Um, I saw a movie yesterday that made me cry. Along the gods. I think it's a Korean movie. And also, as you can see here, what I can do is the Lord of the Rings. I can just put an array inside of an object. And that is not a problem. Completely okay. That's completely okay. And I can do along with the gods and fuck the code father. No, I watched it long ago. All the boys, kind of cool. All right. And also, what I can do is let's do this and let's say, um, oh shit. Uh, 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 uh. Favorite food, for example. Let's make an array of objects. So I'm going to create my first object and this one will be name will be favorite food. Let's say, I don't know how to type Sangipsal, so kimchi. And then I'm gonna say, uh, is it fatty? Uh, false. And I'm gonna make another object and I'm gonna say name. Um, I don't know, cheeseburger. I don't like it, but it's just, I don't know anything else. Cheeseburger. And I'm gonna say, is it fatty? Hell yeah true okay and now i'll save can i format this thing yeah it will make it more pretty this way let's see how this looks without being weird now you know what i can do what i can do is just make it look like this this is just me trying to make the code look better that's just that's it that's it okay just that, that don't worry about it. It's just me. You don't have to do this. Without this, it will still work. No problem. All right. So just like that, I have an array of objects inside of an object. So you know what? Let's just stop this and let's do console log Nico info because it seems that you have a lot of information about me now. I think you need to give me information. Leave it in the comments. Something personal. You know me so well already. Run. There you go. And look at that. Name, Nico, age, gender, handsome, favorite movies, favorite food. And that will be an object inside of an object. No, sorry, an object inside of an array inside of an object. Just the way that we organize data. Okay. Now, there's a couple of things you need to remember with the objects and all that stuff. And that is just that there is some rules in JavaScript. Rules, for example, don't forget the comma here. It's very important you put comma here, okay? Because it's another thing. And just like here as well, do not forget the comma here, okay? There has to be a comma over here. Also, never forget to close your string. If you don't close your string, it will be weird because then this will be a string. This will be text, 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 until here will be text. And then this wouldn't be text. And then these will be text. And then it will be just weird. So just remember to close it. When you use something like Visual Studio Code or you use something like Atom or you use something like what I'm using, the colors of the word changes. So that can give you a little bit of a clue to think, okay, maybe I'm fucking up here. And also, for fuck's sake, just read the console log. I just remove this comma over here. Let's see what happens. Because if you read the errors, it will always work. It says unexpected identifier. But it doesn't tell me where, motherfucker. Let's see. Here it is. On the Google Chrome console, 
if you do this on the if you do this on the um, Visual Studio Code, do not worry about this. This is because I have ad block. But look about this one second. This unexpected identifier and unexpected token, and it tells you what the fuck is going on. Okay, it gives you a clue. All right, awesome. Now there is something very interesting here that we didn't talk about. You see that the the JavaScript currently is failing, but the HTML is okay. Yep, that's right. If your JavaScript goes to shit, your HTML is not affected or your CSS. Okay, so that is a conclusion to this mini introduction to the types of data on JavaScript. I hope you like it. And now on the next video, we are going to actually do some logical stuff. Right now, we haven't done anything logical. We just learned the data types, some rules for grammar of JavaScript and how to organize the data into arrays and into objects. Okay, now if you want to practice, go ahead and do, do some practicing, add some stuff, create some objects, console log them, and see, for example, if you can access them like me. I'm going to say favorite food here. I want to get the first one and I want to get that if it's fatty or not. Fatty. Okay, just as an example. So go ahead, try it and let me know how it goes. Try it, make experiments. Don't just look at this and tell me, okay, it works. Do something like I'm doing and make mistakes, okay? See you on the next one where we are going to start using uh, data types to do some logical stuff, okay? So see you there, bye-bye.